Thank you for visiting the Coin Series channel again. Who are you with? Go to Option Community and enter your answer. Option A XRP. Option B SEC Option C Ripple. According to data from the XRP Ledger investigation, the total amount of XRP has fallen significantly over the previous 30 days, as recently revealed by the 24-hour crypto account on Twitter. At this very moment, about 247,000 XRP tokens were destroyed and permanently removed from circulation. On a daily basis, this equates to the loss of approximately 8,000 tokens. If the ads print another golden cross, Ripple's value would skyrocket, and the linked XRP price might reach new all-time high. An explanation for the unexpected increase in XRP burn transactions was tweeted out by senior staff software engineer Neil Hardner. Hardner linked the decrease in supply to a string of account deletions on the XRP Ledger network. He linked the event to the destruction of two XRP tokens with the deactivation of each account. Hardner also noticed that the majority of the accounts that were terminated were older ones, and their reserve balance was 20 XRP, which was the former value of the account. The unexpected drop in the overall amount of XRP has investors and fans captivated. Others, meanwhile, are concerned that such a large burn would cause the token's value to fall. Plus, a lot of people see it as an indication of how well the network is doing. You'll find all the details you need on Ripple's recently announced XRP Ledger wallet right here. Polonia X's activities in June 2023 were crucial in causing this calamity. After deleting 85,566 inactive XRPL accounts, the huge cryptocurrency exchange allegedly burned almost 171,000 XRP tokens. The Ripple engineer asserts this. The present rate of account deletions is highly unlikely to continue now that this process is complete, an insane event is on the verge of destroying all of the XRP and escrow. Current burn rates are roughly 1,820,000 XRP per year, or 5,000 XR each day on average. Nevertheless, that amount has been steadily rising, which may suggest that waves every day, escrow ruins the lives of about 25,000 people. Some readers have speculated that this might be because Ripple's former director has made it rather clear that the company can and will burn up all of the XRP in escrow at once. The most peculiar aspect is that this massive burn of XRP in escrow occurs at the same time as Ripple Labs' announcement of a buyback of around 1 billion XRP from its circulating supplier. Lots of individuals believe this fire has anything to do with the settlement between SEC and Ripple. The fact that Ripple Labs is currently short on XRP is another reason for the repurchasing. What does that mean, though, precisely? Crucial, because $10,000 per XRP will occur if Ripple's actual XRP escrow fails. The initial global implementation of XRP was in the payment system of the Japanese central bank. Nineteen the XRP ledger is the foundation of a digital currency that 30 central banks have created specifically for the banking sector. It has come to light that one of these financial institutions spent $9.04 billion on XRP. The rumor mill about the federal government's soon-to-be-launched quick payment network suggests that XRP might find its way into such companies. The platform's blockchain would be powered by XRP. Quite a few connections will be made by Ripple Labs. In addition, holding XRP is crucial for these partnerships to continue and even expand. $10,000 is needed for the Crosby payment structure. So that XRP and Ripple Labs can advance. A total of 10 articles have made use of $10 million. Most analysts and spectators have been predicting for a while that Ripple and SSE will reach a resolution within the next few days. In the coming week, the value of XRP is projected to reach around $29.19, thanks to a number of factors including the impending resolution of the SEC case against Ripple and the increasing adoption of the digital currency by institutions. This prediction is based on real facts, not guesswork. A settlement in a significant rippling VC lawsuit is still ongoing, but the revelation of a deal by Binance paves the path for its eventual public disclosure. The official proof of the impending settlement has been made public, which is appropriate considering that settlements will take center stage in the discussion, with four important topics covered in its lengthy agenda, 
this meeting is crucial. Based on this private conversation, the significance of the value of XRP will increase as the administrative processes preceding this significant event get closer. In addition, the Federal Reserve intends to use XRP as a settlement in litigation over inspections, enforcement actions, and restraining orders against Fed operations. Should the U.S. Federal Reserve decide to purchase Ripple and XRP, it would effectively ban their sale to the general public. This action signifies a significant change in the financial system. It is crucial to avoid having XRP classified as a security by the Federal Reserve since doing so would significantly restrict Ripple Labs' technical capabilities and payment processing. The U.S. government is making an effort to halt this. This remark demonstrates that the Federal Reserve intends to utilize Ripple's infrastructure and XRP's capabilities, potentially playing a pivotal role in future financial dealings. As the judge overseeing the Ripple set case puts more settlement pressure on the parties involved, the legal precedent is changing. With the hope of ending this drawn-out court battle, following the court's ruling, an SEC conference and following discussion with Ripple Laboratories will take place. The public's perception of the likelihood of a government victory in a jury trial is compelling the SEC and the opposing party to negotiate a settlement. Through reaching an agreement through negotiation, Chairman Gary is under tremendous pressure due to the growing number of litigation filed against the SEC. Some hedge funds went to court against the SEC in an effort to stop it from regulating short sales differently. In order for the message to be understood by all, U.S. lawmakers are pressuring Gensler to swiftly handle the legal difficulties with digital businesses like Ripple Labs. Allegedly, the Chancellor's leadership is linked to the amount of cases filed against the CEC. Your existing status is on the line unless you fix these flaws right away. Amid all this, Gensler's attempts to resolve disputes seem to be solidifying the status quo by favoring settlements over drawn-out litigation. Ripple's global development stands out since the current legal actions must be resolved soon because of the firm's increasing global significance. As they continue to grow internationally, Rollup has announced that they have become a registered virtual asset service provider in Ireland. Ripple's chief legal officer expressed gratitude for the recognition and the opportunity it provided to provide digital asset services throughout Ireland in a statement that also covered the company's incredible growth in 2023. In a year filled with remarkable energy, we have not only received our full major payment institution license from Moss, but XRP has also been recognized for use by licensed institutions inside the EU by the Central Bank and the Dubai Financial Service Authority. We are celebrating this new development as the culmination of an incredible year. Since one accepts Ripple as a registered charge, we are able to offer cryptocurrency services that are compliant. This widespread acknowledgement demonstrates the growing impact in the world of digital assets. It appears that the SEC settlement is coming to an end shortly, possibly within the next few days. The current data supports this as a departure from their client's practice of relocking and used XRP, which is an important point to bring up. Our video comes to an end with it. You guys must have had a blast. When you're done, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Catch you later, farewell.